Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Frank Nitty back with another video just on tips. If you ain't did so already, go like this video, comment, subscribe, all that, yeah, man. But this is a quick video just to show you a little something of what I do on how I fuel my truck. So, like, the number one tip that I do is I take my loads and I figure out how many miles I got to go or how many hours I got to drive. People normally, when they do they fueling or whatnot, they tend to see how many miles and how much is the gas or the fuel at a certain truck stop, Lowe's, Petrol, TA, whatever. Um, me, I stopped doing it a long time ago because I found myself over fueling. What I started doing was, and this worked a lot better for me, it might not for everybody, but I know like my home bars, the people that I associate with, they say it worked for them too. So what I do is, like, if I have a load, my load might be five, like a five hour trip, one direction. So what I do is, with me and my truck, I normally get between, if I'm, 35 and like let's say like 35 to 42 thousand pounds heavy i tend to get like in that 6.9 7.2 range of miles per gallon so what i do is if i got a five hour ride in one direction i put in 55 gallons the reason why i do 55 gallons is because the extra five gallons and you will possibly have a little bit left over the extra five gallons uh help me get closer to my next destination or my pickup after i deliver a load you know what i'm saying it helped me get to my next load so i don't have to use that much fuel in my dead head to get to my next load a lot of times here you did your next load might pick up an hour away 30 minutes away 10 minutes up the road it might pick up from the same spot and just so that you can have that extra bit of fuel just a little bit even if it got you you know uh that extra five gallons is gonna get you 30 miles down the road it's gonna get you an hour down the road like because you're gonna still have you're not gonna completely use the whole 50 gallons on that five hour ride you might only use like 46 47 so um that's one thing I do. Uh, when I'm empty, if I got like a load, say for instance, I'm Bob Tilling, I'm empty, or my load is probably 10,000 and under. All right, I do. If I got like a, a, a four hour trip, I only do 25 gallons because every 10 gallons is 100 miles in this 2016 Freightliner truck that I have. I don't know about everybody else or how it go for y'all. I know for the most part, if I do 100 miles, my truck will read 10 gallons was used. It might say, oh, I'm only making 8.9, or it might say I'm, at, uh, I'm doing 8.2 miles per gallon. But when I look at my trip overall, it'll say I only used 10 gallons for 100 miles. So that's kind of how like I be doing my, my fuel or not. This is like I had this trip right here. This trip was 290 miles to get down here to Amazon. And uh, I forgot what part of Missouri I'm in, but uh, if I, oh, St. Peter's, Missouri. It was 290 miles. So technically it's like three and a half hours. So what I did was only put 30 gallons in here right now i'm still at a quarter i'm at a quarter tank right now so they give me enough to get to my next pickup which is 60 miles from here and then i have half a quarter by the time i get that guaranteed half a quarter in this truck you probably got between 80 and 100 miles to until you completely empty but i don't like to go completely empty so half a half a quarter i'm probably gonna end up stopping right before i get there my trip is 852 miles to go to Maxton, North Carolina. I probably do, let's just say, 100 and 
I'll probably do like 130 gallons. That should get me all the way there. Especially like uh, if the load is heavy, then that's one. I probably get fuel after I pick it up so I know exactly how heavy I am because it is a truck stop, like maybe five miles from, you know, where I'm picking up from. So that's just how I do it. Like if you, like however many hours you're running, that's how many gallons you're putting. You're running five hours, 50 gallons. You're running eight hours, 80 gallons. It work every time. Try and then like if you using the using the apps like the Love Pilot, use the apps. Find the cheapest fuel. If you go for the cheapest fuel, like even if you have to put 30 gallons in your truck just to go them three hours or two hours to get to the cheapest fuel, get to the cheapest fuel. Sometimes like you don't want to stop extra, you know what I'm saying, numerous amount of times, but sometimes it's worth it. That's how you know what I'm saying, you manage your fuel. You you don't allow fuel to eat up your settlement at the end of the week. You want to manage that fuel to the full extent of, you know, because that's one thing. Your truck payments is nothing. You can make your truck payment easily, but if you don't manage your fuel, like your fuel, is, that, that will eat your settlement. I know from experience, like, you know, I've been driving six years, going on seven, and it's like I know because in the beginning, I used to just get fuel, get fuel, like not really knowing how to fuel, trying to multiply, you know, the fuel times the mileage divided by this and do it. It just, it became too much. So when it come down to the fuel, when you buy a tailing, you could possibly get between 8.5 to 9.3 miles to the gallon. Probably between, with, with 10 gallons in your truck, Bob tailing the empty, you could go, you could do 100 miles and you probably only use 10 gallons. Or you could do a little bit more, like 120 miles, and they only use 10 gallons. So just like that. But as far as like, you know, if you got a load, boom, do your, you know what I'm saying? I do say, I do say this, say for instance, you got a load, and it might be in the middle of nowhere. Your trip might be a six hour trip. Boom, that's your 60 gallons. But your next pickup might be like two hours away. Or you might have like a three hour deadhead or something like that. And it ain't no truck, like you wanna do your trip planning. If it ain't no truck stops in that area, you wanna go ahead and get that fuel. So if you're doing a six hour trip, boom, you do your 60 gallons. All right, my next load is 120 miles away from my delivery. All right, while you get your 60 gallons, just go ahead and get the extra 20 gallons. So you can go ahead, you know, when you pick it up, you still gonna have extra fuel left over. So after you go ahead and pick up, then, you know what I'm saying, you take off, get your, you know what I'm saying, your fuel or whatnot for your next load. That's how I do it. And when I do it, like, my fuel is low. I got some of my homeboys be like, oh yeah, bro, like, how you do that? I ended up spending this amount for fuel and you don't spend half. You, a lot of drivers, they come out, they top off their tanks, they start driving, they let it go, you know what I'm saying? But some, sometimes we might have one of them short weeks. You don't got fuel somewhere where fuel is expensive. And then you turn around, then you hop in your truck, and the next thing you know, you sitting a day, you burning your fuel. Or you sitting getting unloaded, then you gotta turn around and get loaded, and then something, you know what I'm saying? You run out of time, you killing a whole lot of your fuel. So, like I would just say, like I do it, I just, top, I just fuel by the hour. So six hours, 60 gallons, seven hours, 70 gallons. Like if your whole trip, it's a 10 hour ride, you got two hours here, eight hours to deliver, just go ahead and drop the 100 gallons in. I guarantee you make it, I guarantee you. You're gonna see that you start to use less and less fuel. There's a lease purchase on the operator. I would say I would not top my tanks off. I don't care how long I'm driving. Like I will not do it. I fuel because I want to make a profit after every load i don't want to be empty-handed oh i use this load for fuel so my next load i ain't got to come out of pocket sometimes that work but sometimes that load might be heavier than what you expect it to be and then you still got to get fuel on that load and you ain't make nothing off the last load so that's just how i operate that's how i move and that's just like a little quick video to show, you know what i'm saying on how i feel my truck at least operator i appreciate you watching like comment subscribe like i said in the beginning if you got any other tips on how to fuel or whatnot 
you know, better options. You know what I'm saying? Just holler at me, let me know. Hit the uh, comment down in the, uh, you know what I'm saying, at the bottom or whatever. However they let y'all comment. But, yeah, appreciate the support. And, you know, y'all stay good. Y'all stay safe on that road. Yeah.